Alright, what's up folks? So, doing some LED upgrades, going to remove this OEM light with the LED. Um, I don't know how it's going to work because unfortunately when I did uh, some work on these headlights, you can see these head headlights are not OEM, I already replaced them. I blacked out the inside and I installed the angel light, but this angel LED are not as bright as I thought they would and blacking out actually makes it very difficult so i'm very optimistic putting this led if they're going to work if they're going to provide enough clearance at night but i doubt but uh let's see how this goes so the only trick when replacing the leds is that after you do this you need to code it so you make sure you get the correct one h15 that's what you need the link is in the description if you want to get this same LED. I'm sure these LEDs will work really nice if you didn't black out your, your headlights. I blacked out my headlights and I actually mess it up. So I don't know if it's gonna work well at night, but we'll see. So going to replace these. All right, after installing the LED lights, your next step is to code. If you don't code the car, you will get this message. And this message will not go away until you code the car. To do that, you will need a, an adapter. This is the adapter that I use. The link is in the description. Using the link in the description is a way of supporting the channel. So get yourself this adapter. This is a Bluetooth adapter. It works with Android as well as uh, iPhone so you you won't be blocked to one particular phone but for me I use an Android phone I'm going to use I'm going to connect it with the Android I, I'm going to plug this into the ODB2 port put the seatbelt on and turn on the ignition into accessory mode what does that mean the accessory mode is you press once on the start button make sure you turn off the air conditioning as well as the light turn off the light completely we're going to launch Bima code. If you don't have Bima code yet, go into App Store, whether it is Apple or Google Play, go there, just search for Bima code and connect and, and upload. The license is one-time license, which I love. So it's not like a subscription model. It's just a one-time uh, one time purchase. It's very cheap. It's not something that going to push you to break the bank. So get yourself Bima code and play around with it. Before I can connect, I want to make sure which connection am I using. Currently, I'm not using the inet cable. I am using their adapter. So I will go into settings and settings here on top where it says ODB adapter. That's where I will click. And if you purchase exactly this ODB to adapter, you will click on V-Link or Bluetooth. That's what you're going to click. Click on that and get back a bit and connect wait for it to connect i mentioned the connection is a bit slow with bluetooth but it's very it, it's i mean it's not a big deal um so it's bm we are on two series bmw two series m2 that the option we're going to get if you're on three series you get the three series and so forth uh and if you have mini you also choose mini cooper so you click on okay wait i can i chose the wrong one Yeah, M2, okay, going to connect. Takes a bit of while, couple of seconds, wait for it, and it's going to pop up. Yeah, it takes quite a bit. Right, from here we going to, from here we go to front electronic module. All right, from here we're going to look at the light. We're going to look for light, headlights, cleaning no we led conversion from front electronic module we go into the lights uh, on the light section which is the led conversion 
so i've already replaced a couple of them i've done the low beam uh, the one that i did is now the daylight running light that's what i changed so to do to do that you just click on led conversion daytime running light click on that and set to active and save and the led position light we didn't do that um high beam we didn't do that uh, actually we did the for bmw actually for bmw the daylight running light is the same with the high beam so we also going to change that and set it to active so both have to set to active and that is if anything that we need in this module and there is nothing else we need to change i already changed the fog lights the fog lights i've changed them already they are also led um i've, I've converted them to led they're actually very nice led uh led lights the links in the description for you to get the same one they're really bright i have to tell you they're really bright and i love them i love them that any those are the two settings we need to set active we set on click on code start coding and wait don't turn off the car don't touch anything don't go away from this window on your phone just wait for it to code and the car will rest uh, yeah it will restart the ecu it might throw away some coding while it's restarting the ecu you don't have to worry about that you wait for it up until it says coding complete they say coding complete that about it coding is complete now we can turn off the car turn back on and that should be it this is how you change the leds on your car if you have a question leave in the comment below and i hope i catch you on the next diy take care drive safe